Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be going over to Dragon Blaze Page Notes. The reason I'm not in game right now is just because it's already in maintenance. Uh, I was a bit distracted, so you know, eh, this is the next best thing. I just went to the forums just to get this information. So we're going to go over a little bit in the patch notes. We're not going to go into extreme detail. I'm just going to give like a just pretty much short rundown of each thing. So we are getting a new area, which means more story to go through. And the level cap is getting increased. And now they have like this menu that shows your character information and your enhancements. And I'm pretty sure you can quick change your characters or is oh. You can just pretty much change everything from your um, settings now. All right, that's actually pretty cool. That saves us a lot of times in, instead of backing out. Hopefully it just does normally just change your character out instead of like going back to the menu, then changing your character out. Hopefully that's what it means. And finally, the overlords are coming out. Oh my God, we've been waiting for this for so long and it's about to happen and the first one up is ban he's pretty much the warrior or swordsman whichever one you want to label him but he is actually the class warrior for us out of the overlords and people said he's pretty good at dealing damage so i might get him also as soon as everything starts um we you mach 5 which is one of my favorites just because of her design looks pretty sick uh she's the rogue out of all the overlords so yeah if you guys want yourself a good single target damage you know could be decent in pvp eh, i would go with her next we have ion ion is pretty much the archer out of pretty much the overlords um when she first released she was kind of terrible i i want to say she was probably the worst one out of all the overlords but ever since she had got that buff later on she became extremely good um hopefully this is the buff version that we get as soon as it comes out and not the really crappy version uh, next we got ren ren which everybody thought was a female but actually turned out to be a boy um this is the mage out of the group and uh, i can't really recommend him to be honest, like he's good. He's good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that he. Uh, I don't even say it. I'll let you guys, you know, decide if you want him or not. Y you're gonna have to read his skills. It's, it's kind of questionable a little bit. Alright, next we have. Chen. Next we have Chen. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna be looking at Chen. She's pretty much the priest, the healer out of everything. She's actually pretty good. I would actually recommend getting her. If you guys are gonna make an Overlord team, she should definitely be in it. Um, her heals are actually pretty nice from what I've seen for the Korean version. And I'm not sure if she has a revive. Uh, anybody would have Someone would have to classify that for me if she does have a revive or something like that. Because I'm pretty sure she can revive herself or something. I, I'm not sure. Somebody else will probably know. All right, next we're going to talk about Aaron. Um, she is a must. <laughs> I, I'm not going to sugar sugarcoat it. She's in Cancer of the group, and she is an actual must. She's really powerful, really strong, highly recommend. Like, she has three summons she can actually do, also. And they're all individually, like, powerful. She's a great buffer, as well. Alright, our last one is Mumu. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And he's a great buffer, great tank. I would maybe recommend him. I'm not sure. Depending on how you want to build your team of what characters you guys actually want to go for. Um, you could probably fit him in there somewhere. All right, next we got the Overlord DFI system, which is pretty much what we've been doing this whole time, <laughs> which is pretty much get that normal unit to DFI, get that DFI to transcend it, then transcend that unit to Overlord. We, we've been doing that already. 
And for those of you guys who want to know how much it costs and how many transistors you're going to need, there you go. That's how much you're going to need for each one. And this is just to make it. Oh, just the suffering starts when you have to actually enhance them. So don't worry. That's still there for you. <laughs> All right, we got the Vogar system, which I have no idea what this is. The skill activates automatically when an Overlord character and an Overlord ally fight together. So, oh, we can make our characters into Overlords now. I'm pretty sure their look won't change at all, though. But we also have the Soul System, which is the only way you guys can enhance your Overlords. You gotta convert five units into one soul yep five units one soul yeah that that sounds very uh all right man the grind just never stops for us all right so we got beginner league which is pretty much um cutting off like stronger players from the new players when it comes to like pvp and um World Boss, Tag, so they're all going to have their individual ranking. So, there's going to be Beginner, then there's going to be pretty much us, who are way stronger. So, that's actually pretty nice that they did cut us off from the pretty much the weaker players. But at the same time, that's actually going to make um, late game more competitive when it comes to PvP. So, yeah, none of us, like, higher players are going to be able to, you know, stack up off lower players. I believe that's what that means. Not really sure. We're going to have to figure that one out, too. Um, so, next we have Archbuster Exclusive Dungeon. Oh. So, we actually have another reason to use our Archbuster. Okay. Oh. That's cool. I can't wait to try that one out. Dungeon entry requirement approved. Clear the history of normal dungeons made by a specific character will be shared with all characters. Okay, I get what this means. Pretty much, we don't have to go all the way back. When we start a new character, we don't have to go unlock every last single area. We could just go to story, to story, to story, just pretty much finish up just like that. We don't have to just pretty much go to story, unlock our way through, then story. That's that's a good change. I like that. Alright, we got Challenge Dungeon Renewal. When a character in a count reaches level 120 after the update, it enables the rest of the characters to be able to enter the Challenge Dungeon. Alright, that's nice. That's really nice. Increase your XP that you get from the dungeon after the Challenger level thousand hmm and plus we also get an increase to our floors that's gonna be man i can't even get through the first floors right now i i, I don't got time to be worried about that at the moment <laughs> so guild siege and good loot are gonna be getting a renewal oh that's nice Guild Siege now operates on a time limit system instead of like the HP. Okay, that's something they definitely needed. We needed this because they would go by like so fast, but I was expecting it to at least go for like an hour at least. 30 minutes? Okay, well then, I, I guess we can deal with that. Alright, next we're getting... A renewal on raid access location of nebula has been changed so it's now in a challenge area now so that's that's nice so we don't have to go into adventure every time and just search for it uh, you get one essence is given when you if you, wait does it have its own individual essence now or is it talking about like trans essence I'm pretty sure it's its own essence Okay, so next we're going to get an Arbuster Improvement, which is pretty much just a normal stat buff. 
All right, next we're going to get new achievements, which is just pretty much these two. And they give new um, U, U gears, or well, U accessories, let's say that. Next, we're gonna get five new own effects. So pretty much just own the character, enhance them, and you get these stats added on, which are pretty much a must because these stats are like extremely good. If you can max out this whole pretty much own system, just have every last trans, every last pretty much overlord, and they're all just enhanced, you should be good. All right, yay, content balancing. What are these? Let's go ahead and go through them. Um, Orc Fortress is gonna be increased in difficulty. Oh dear God. <laughs> Oh no, ROB is increased again. They better be increasing the rewards along with this, though. <laughs> you know how long it takes to get a freaking Overlord enhanced? Guild Adventure, finally, is getting increased. We've needed this for so long. It, We definitely needed this. Sync of Guild Adventure HP has been changed. Instead of syncing the... Wait, what? Hold on. Sync of Guild Adventure HP has been changed. Instead of syncing the boss HP in real time between server and client, it will be synced every... in second. Why? Okay, whatever. Um, next is Guild Siege battle improvements. Uh, rebalancing of the world bosses. The Vogar skill has been apply to each boss. Oh. Does that basically mean they do more damage? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. Alright, so the family has been balanced, rebalanced as well, just to keep up with the our little flaming turtle. Um, uh, Guild loot has been increased. They need to increase that like really good to be honest because people always make a mistake and just straight up destroy area one within seconds and that's most of the time by mistake previous challenger dungeon difficulty lowered oh well yeah it is pretty difficult because most people are getting one shot and i've heard some people are getting one shotted on the the first floor so i can see why they lowered it a little bit and PvP is also getting a rebalance. Alright, next we have just improved UI and stuff. Um, added character and account info pop-up. Character information screen. Add a filter by class in ally management screen. Added move left and right feature in craft soul screen. Add, uh, add tag match challenge chance. So this is pretty much like PvP where you have that chance to get a random person to fight. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. And it gives you extra points. So our gold limit has been increased to 9.9 .9 billion gold. And now we can also stack our essence to 9,999. Uh, what else? And the feature that en enables getting an ally enhanced to a specific level. Alright, so this pretty much applies to all these summon. Alright, 9. Change the display location of challenger level in each content lobby and battle screen. Damage is now abbreviated to 100 million. Oh, ah, uh, okay. Okay, I see what they did. So instead of like putting up the actual number, they're gonna just have it like this. As it becomes large. Okay. Okay, if it becomes like too large to where it just takes over the screen, it, they're just gonna pretty much abbreviate it. Uh, we're getting new items in the shop just so they can get our rubies. They're gonna have to back off, man. I have. I'm just saving up all these rubies for other things, and they're just. Releasing rune summons and uh, oh actually yeah, This was actually pretty decent 
Um, they also have the seven empire equipment fragments. They're not the actual equipment. They're just the fragments. Um, arc buster parts are here as well. You only get 55. You only get 100 of these and you only get 35 of those. And your request bundle is also here too, if you want to do that. I was about to say, we already have this, but they actually added this on. So if you do the five triple S summon, you have a chance of a soul to appear instead of a less ally and emphasis on chance guys remember that it's a chance now here are pretty much just a little bit of bug fixes and then we have the login reward that everybody pretty much gets all users can get a free overlord select ticket when they you know come into the game and new users or returning users get a free arc transcended selector exclusive to this event um it ends well yeah they end uh next month on the 30th so most of you guys need to log in around that time i know some of you guys have been taking a break until the overlords came out so yeah here's a good time to come back and that's just about it guys i am looking forward to this um, I probably won't be checking it out into probably tomorrow on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll check it out on Wednesday and I'll upload everything about it. I probably won't be doing the story right off the bat. If anything, I'll probably make the characters as soon as the update's over and as soon as I'm pretty much done streaming. This update is going to be going on for nine hours. It's a really huge update. So, yeah, nine hours starting at... 9 30 for us as in it just started <laughs> so yeah hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys got a whole lot of information from this and i'll see you guys next time peace out Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose?